Hey, welcome my YouTube friends to Scrapping It Up. I am Vanessa, and today I want to do uh, some album share with you. Um, and I used um, the Life in Bloom collection from um, Simple Stories. And I do have a tutorial that you can purchase. Um, it's my 2024 National Scrapbook Day project. I'm doing this one over on, on my Facebook page right now. Um, we're doing it in an eight and a half by 11 binder album, but I have, when you purchase this um, project, you get three projects with it. You can either make a mini album with four of the pages, or you can make just a folio album with just two of the pages, or you can make eight and a half by 11. And this is what we've been doing over there. On my Facebook page, it'd be the same thing, okay? But I wanted to get it offered to you guys because right now I have it on sale. While we're working on, we'll be working on it. I think till like Memorial Day, so um, you can go purchase it. I think it's twelve, twelve ninety nine, regular price nineteen ninety nine. So I'm I'm sorry if you're just now catching this video and it's past that time. And it's regular price, but I wanted to get it on here while I have it um, discounted. Um, so you can pick it up. Okay. Like I said, you get to make three projects with this. Okay. And um, let's do, let's do the folio first. And I'll, and it has six different page styles that you can make to create the three different projects. So Here's this. This folio measures 11 by 9. It's almost 11 and 1 8 by 9. Okay. So here's the front. And there's the back. Yeah, that was supposed to be over here. And I'd done it backwards when I was putting it together. <laughs> it's always something. Always something. So you open it up and it's a folio because a folio doesn't have anything in the spine. A mini album um, has your um, hinges and stuff in the spine area. So that's the difference between a folio and a mini album. Okay, so in this folio, I use page style number two and page style number five. Okay, so this flips open and I... I think I said I used the Life in Bloom collection by Simple Stories. And OMG, this collection is wonderful. Wonderful. So then, and I stole the tags. Here's the tags. These tags go down. Or tags. These, uh. stole these um photo mats <laughs> so you take the photo mats out and it holds everything together okay so then this flips and then this flips open oh this paper is just gorgeous and then that flips open and then you got this flip and this flip beautiful And then these just go right down in here and keep it all nice and tidy. Okay, this side is style number five. So you open it up. You have a, I created a little tuck spot right there. Then here is two photo mats that's angled and it's a belly band. So you have a belly band here and a belly band here. And I just put um, two photographs on it. And then a little booklet that I made out of this paper. That's right here. So these just slide underneath here. And then that opens for that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Then that just folds shut. And that just uses two of the pages. And I, I think I figured this up. This would use, hold, what was it? 50 pictures? I think this one will hold 50 pictures, I think. I can't remember. I know I counted up. So 
So there's that. So here's the mini album. Okay. And I did wrap the spine in design paper. And there's the very back. It's beautiful. Now I did wrap this album. And I did my folio as well. Um, you guys all know I love my um, craft um, paper. This is by Duck Brand. And I buy this at Walmart. And it's about 40. It's around 40 to 50 pounds paper and it's in a big roll it's your brown wrapping packing paper but i wrapped this and i wrapped this album with it as well and i really like it i really think it's going to hold up so this opens up the here is page style number one and it has a magnet there so that holds that all nice and tidy you take the magnet off and you have a waterfall right here. Beautiful. Okay, and it has a belly band right there. So you could stick a couple of photo mats underneath there. And then this opens up. Look at that paper. Oh, it is just amazing. And then that opens up and I created a little tuck spot here. And then you have this. Oh, so pretty. And then this just all comes back down. And a magnet. Love that. So here is page style number three. Um, you have a couple of photo mats, and then these pop open. And these are the rub-ons that came with the collection. That's a rub-on. Pretty vibrant. So this here is our pocket that holds that all nice and tidy. And then this flips open. Then you got this. And then you have that. And then here you have a little tuck spot. Okay. Very cute. And then this flips open for this. So very nice. Okay. And then this flips over. Now this is page style number four. You have a couple of pullouts here. And you have a pocket here. This flips open. And that flips open. Then this flips open. And that flips open. And then you have a little tuck spot right here. Yeah, we're having a lot of fun um, decorating this over on my Facebook page. Yeah, I'm not showing how to to make it over there on my Facebook page, um, but we're but we're decorating it. I mean, we we're putting it together, but it's you know piece A, piece B. So you do have to have um, if you hop over there to my Facebook page, you do have to have you do have to purchase the tutorial. Um, to know how to put this all together. Okay, so this is page six. This is a little booklet that you pull out. And this flips open, that flips open, and this flips open. But yeah, all this paper is just amazing. I love this paper. So then you have a little pocket here. These flip open. So this flips, sorry, then that flips and you have a little tuck spot here as well. And then that flips open. Look at that spread. Wowza. It's 
beautiful. And then the little booklet keeps everything nice and tidy. So this is the mini album. Like I said, you can put, you can do, um, I have instructions. You get the cutting guide, written instructions, and the process videos. Um, all the process videos um, are not Facebook. They are just regular videos because I didn't want to do, um, that way there's no distraction. Okay. So you get the cutting guide, written instructions, and the process videos. And I will put the Facebook lives in there for the decorating um, purposes of the eight and a half by 11. And when we get the eight and a half by 11 binder pages done, I will come back and do a final review on that as well. So you can go purchase this. Um, you can make um, all three projects or you can just make one project just depending on your photo size um, that you want. So, yeah. All right. I hope um, you enjoyed um, this album chair. Um, hopefully, maybe I even inspired you. Maybe you want to go craft now. And so, yeah. So, um, we will see you in the next class. And as always, keep scrapping. Bye-bye.